Welcome everyone. This is my first race on low fuel motorsport. I'm currently in the rookie license class and just about ready to start the race. So I'm not too sure what's going to happen on the start because I mean this is my first race and I'm not sure what these other drivers will be like. So my plan was to stay out of trouble and into the braking zone was really worried someone will run into the back of me. But amazingly it didn't happen, so I was very impressed with how clean the driving was at the start of the race. So I managed to keep my position more or less and I was quite happy with this. No damage, uh, no one running off the track, everything was great for now. And so my plan was to hold 7th place and just try and keep that position to the end of the race. So later on in the lap I um, managed to get a good exit out of the very anti alter chicane and the guys in front were squabbling so I thought there may be an opportunity for overtake but I didn't really want to overtake I just wanted to have a look and then when I braked what I thought was a good braking point it seemed like it was way too late for the guy next to me and I eventually ended up overtaking him without really planning for it and it worked I managed to keep in front but the problem was he had a good run out of that last corner and he brought a couple of friends with him so now we're going to be going more or less four into the first corner the chicane isn't that fast but there isn't much room so i braked and left some room on the inside and this other mclaren he decided he's going to use me for brakes and he bumped me off and he managed to take the position and the two guys with him uh, went went past as well so you can see I was on the right, I left space, he bumped me, ran me off the track. So running over the gravel cost me a lot of time, so I lost several positions. And this car, as you can see, this right behind me. He had good momentum and I was still recovering, so I, I decided to give up this position. It wasn't worth fighting him and risking another accident. So I left the room, he went by, but the problem is by doing that I lost more momentum and then this McLaren decided he's going to try and move. So I had the feeling he was going to bump me, so I decided just give him the space and see what happens. So this is us dragging up the hill to Varianti. Oh no, that's not Varianti, also sorry, that's Pirateller. And I left some space and he didn't. He squashed me off the track, uh, came back on and here into Aquamanerale, um, I was hoping not to have any sort of incident, etc. And so far it was fine. So besides this bump, as you can see, I left room, he runs me off the road. Um, I tucked in behind him, didn't have an incident into Aquamanerale, so I was happy. So now my new plan is to chase this guy down. So I spent a lap or so uh, catching up with him. And once I had a good exit out of Aquamanerale, I decided to not actually try and move, but to try and uh, set him up for the, pre for the next corner. So I made him take an alternate line, which caused him to run wide, gave me a good run, and now we're heading towards Rvatsa 1, which is a good overtaking opportunity. So I wasn't sure if he'd let me, and he didn't, he blocked me very, very, very uh, hard. So he ran wide, uh, he fell for my little setup, and on the way back in, he just decided he's just going to bump me again. So this guy was very aggressive. He literally had two wheels on the grass came back on track, bumped me to take the position. Thankfully I had a good run. Here's a long slipstream heading into turn one and I decided I'm gonna try the same move. Not overtake, but set him up for overtake. So I brake earlier, he missed his uh, braking point, ran wide, bounced over the um, sausage curbs and I had him on the outside. He didn't want to give up the position, so we actually bumped. Uh, it was nothing serious, I managed to get the position. So once I got that position, uh, that was it. So for the next several laps, I was slowly pulling away from him. And eventually, I caught up with sixth position. So the problem was, the guy in sixth was slightly slower than me, but not a lot slower, which meant that once I got close to him, there wasn't that much I could do. So this was the fastest lap of the race I'd, I'd set trying to chase this guy down. And it actually turned out to be slightly faster than my qualifying lap. One reason was because I didn't have much practice going into qualifying. And um, using those laps I did in the race helped me uh, find a bit more speed. So 
one of the things I was doing while trying to do this fast lap was try and be as smooth and clean as possible. Uh, this McLaren 720S GT3 is fairly quick uh, on high speed corners, but it doesn't like being overdriven. So if you see through here, I'm not making any sudden movements and flicking the car into corners, um, being too aggressive. I was just trying to be smooth, uh, use some of the curves, but not too much. And as you can see, I've made uh, up quite a bit of time. So I'm quite close to this guy. And my plan was to see if I can get a good exit out of this chicane. Maybe I'll have a run at him. But unfortunately, he had a good exit. And this was it. This is as, as close as I, uh, as I got to the guy. So this is the last two corners, the uh, reversal one and two. He took a strange line into that corner. I'm not sure why. It's almost like he was defending it, even though I was nowhere near him. I had a good exit and when I came across the line I set my fastest lap of the race. So what you see here is representing the last few laps of me just trying to do clean laps, trying not to do anything stupid and hopefully finish the race. So this was the, the last bits of the, of the race where these two guys in front were fighting for position. So I thought maybe if I'm lucky they, they make a mistake and I can capitalize on that. Um, so there we are, we're going up to Piratella. Um, you can see they were really, really close to each other. So I thought if I could push a little bit, not make too many mistakes and get as close as I can to them, maybe I can join the party. I can maybe score from the situation. But easier said than done. These guys uh, are fairly quick. Um, they're more or less on my pace, just fractionally slower. But it wasn't so easy just to drive up to them and and take advantage. So I wasn't really pushing hard because my aim was, this was my first race, I didn't really want to push hard, make a mistake and then lose everything I gained. Because the aim of this is to get 10 finishes to move out of the rookie class. And it's pointless crashing out. So you can see I've gained time, I've, I've closed up on them, but unfortunately that was as far as it got. So. Eventually the race ended and I managed to get my 7th place, which is good news. As you can see across the line, there's the checkered flag and that's it, 7th place. So what this means is, as you can see in the results, there's my 7th, is I got a decent bump in safety rating and small bump in ELO. The plan from here is straightforward. I need to enter 9 more races, finish them and gain decent safety rating and obviously hopefully get more ELO. Once that's done, I'll move out of the rookie class and be much in a much more competitive field, but also, I think, probably a lot more safer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy the video, give it a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.